Welcome to Jesse English Second Language Program 2. In today's program, there will be a group of students attending a tutorial group working out the meanings of unfamiliar words using contextual clues. The objectives of today's lesson are to understand the literal meaning of a text, to work out the meaning of unfamiliar words using contextual clues, Enjoy the program. I can't believe how like, difficult the test was. Yeah, I completely messed up because I could not understand most of the text. Hi guys, I'm so glad to see both of you. I got great marks for my test. Let me see. Good for you. It was all thanks to you too. But why are no faces? No, we're proud of you. It's just that we really had a bad test day today. That's too bad. I thought we could go see a movie. To celebrate my results. But today, um, we're going for teaching. Maybe she can explain to us what we can do when we get difficult passages and one is no clue what it's all about. difficult or unfamiliar words in a passage. Yes, Soma. I use my dictionary of the Psalms. Very good. Both are also good for increasing your <coughs> vocabulary. But what do you do in situations where you can't use it? Yeah, like in today's test. Now, if you don't know the meaning of the word, you can often use the context to help you guess. What do you mean by the word context? The context of a word refers to the other words around it in a sentence or passage. Take out a pen and paper and look, let's look at this passage. The first sentence says, Most children look forward eagerly to their school days, having watched their older brothers and sisters leave home proudly in their uniforms, carrying trunks of books. The word trunks is not a word we come across often and can be seen by many as being unfamiliar. From this sentence, we can guess that a trunk of books must mean some sort of container of books. We can guess by the fact that it is a number of books which are being carried by learners. We know that learners normally carry their books in school bags. Yes, Indalini. I see, carrying trunks of books. The older brothers and sisters carry their books in the school bags. Yes! Now scan through the second paragraph and see if you can spot more unfamiliar words. We need to follow him through the infant school. It would make a full story in itself. But it was no different from the story of other children. In the primary school, however, his individual character began to show. He developed a strong hatred for arithmetic. But he loved stories and songs. And he liked particularly the sound of English words, even when they conveyed no meaning at all. Some of them simply filled him with joy. Periwinkle was such a word. He had now forgotten how he learned it or exactly what it was. He had a vague private meaning for it and it was something to do with fairyland. Yes, you lady. The second paragraph, the word conveyed in the middle of the paragraph. And he liked particularly the sound of English words, even when they conveyed no meaning at all. Conveyed. Yes, the word conveyed. Yes, Thomas. Is it to tell someone something? Yes, good guess. How did you think of that? 
Well, the sound of words comes to us giving us a message of some sort or a meaning. So I guess that the world was supposed to tell Chan something. That is very good. Convey was used for words meaning that the words carry a message or a meaning across from speaker to listener. Yes, Jessica. And then, miss, in the last sentence of the paragraph, he had a vague private meaning for it and it was something to do with fairyland. Well, let's look at the sentence just before that one. He had now forgotten how he learned it or exactly what it was. Then put that together with the sentence that vague is in. Any idea what it could mean? I think it means he doesn't remember what the word means, but he has an idea. That's correct, Jessica. I can see you guys are starting to grasp this. Let us see if we can guess the meaning of the following words in the next paragraph. Child's teacher was fond of using long words in the classroom. He was said to be a very learned man who liked to share this knowledge with his learners. He used to say to Chike that if he continued to be more and more arrogant, then others would dislike him. <coughs> yes, Karen? I think the word fun means to like something. In this case, Chike's teacher liked to use long words. Because if you fond of something, you enjoy it and therefore do it often. Absolutely correct, Kami. Thomas? Learn means Jack's teacher learned a lot. Not just learned a lot, he is well educated. Kami, don't you want to try the next word? Arrogant means you're full of yourself. What do you mean by full of yourself? The teacher thinks highly of himself. Yes. So when you say someone is arrogant, then that person is full of themselves. Now I want you to do the next exercise. Can you match these words with their meanings in the right hand side column and write them down? The first one has been completed as an example. The word periwinkle means creepy evergreen plant with light blue flowers. Now what is the meaning of mechanism in the language? Structure of arrangement of parts that work together as the parts of a machine do. That's right. And constellation? A name given to a group of fixed stars. Correct. And dispersal, Kave? Sudden and violent bursting? No. Sorry, that's the meaning for explosive. The process of scattering or going into different directions. Well done, Kave. You gave us over two answers at the same time. Thank you. Now, Jessica, the word procrastination. That's a actual delay of putting off what can be done now. It seems you guys do understand now how to guess the meaning of words in their context. That is something you can easily practice on your own by guessing meanings of words from text and then double checking with the dictionary. It will also help you build up your vocabulary. I wish we could have done this exercise before our test, but at least I know now how to take an unfamiliar words in a test. Now the next time you are writing a test or exam, don't panic when you come across unfamiliar words which you can't seem to understand. Relax and just look at the context of the words. The other information containing a sentence or passage, you can make a good guess about the meaning of a word. Remember this. Till next time, bye-bye. This concludes our second and last program of JSC English Second Language. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something from it. Thank you for watching and good luck with your studies.